Shadows of Deception Once upon a time, in the small quaint town of Willow Creek, mysterious crimes plagued its peaceful streets. The residents were baffled, unable to comprehend how their once safe haven had become a hotbed for unexplained misdeeds. The local police department was overwhelmed, struggling to find answers to the puzzling occurrences. As the sun dipped beneath the horizon, casting long shadows upon the town, the true nature of these crimes remained shrouded in darkness. In the heart of Willow Creek stood a dilapidated manor known by locals as Blackwood House. Its eerie presence added an air of foreboding to the town. Rumors whispered of strange figures lurking near the premises and eerie sounds that emanated from its walls only served to fuel the growing unease. Among the confused townsfolk was Sarah, an inquisitive young woman with a penchant for solving mysteries. Intrigued by the enigmatic crimes, she donned her detective hat and set out to uncover the truth. Armed with her notebook and an unwavering determination, Sarah embarked on a journey that would test her wit and resolve. Her first lead came from Mrs. Thompson, an elderly lady who claimed to have witnessed a shadowy figure skulking near Blackwood House one moonlit night. Sarah listened intently, noting every detail Mrs. Thompson provided. She discovered similar accounts from other residents who had seen bizarre figures lurking within the vicinity. Determined to shed light on the darkness haunting Willow Creek, Sarah decided to explore the mystery surrounding Blackwood House. She assembled a team of brave individuals who shared her desire to bring justice to the town. Adam, a skilled locksmith, would ensure they could gain entry to the manor unnoticed. Emma, a fearless journalist, would document their expedition. And finally, there was Mark, a gifted sleuth known for his sharp senses. Under the cover of the night, the group made their way towards Blackwood House. Sarah could feel an eerie presence enveloping them as they approached the towering entrance. With a deft flick of his wrist, Adam managed to pick the lock, granting them access to the mansion's dark interior. Silently, the team crept through the silent hallways, their footsteps muffled by the thick, aged carpet that adorned the floors. The air was heavy with anticipation as they tried to unravel the mysteries hiding within Blackwood House's walls. As they ventured deeper into the manor, secrets began to unveil themselves. They discovered hidden rooms obscured by concealing bookcases, each containing clues to the crimes that had beset Willow Creek. Sarah meticulously noted every piece of evidence found, connecting the dots and untangling the complex web of deception woven around the town. Suddenly, a door creaked open, startling the group. Heartbeats quickened and adrenaline surged through their veins as they entered the room. There, amidst a collection of odd gadgets and maps, lay the mastermind behind Willow Creek's mysterious crimes, none other than Mr. Thompson, Mrs. Thompson's seemingly harmless husband. Stunned, Sarah confronted Mr. Thompson, demanding answers. He confessed, revealing a twisted motive behind his actions. Grievances from a past long forgotten had driven him to seek revenge against those he believed wronged him. Unbeknownst to the residents of Willow Creek, Mr. Thompson had orchestrated a series of elaborate schemes to exact his vengeance. With the evidence in hand, Sarah quickly contacted the local police. As the sun rose, casting its golden light over the town, Willow Creek was finally freed from the shadows of deception that had plagued it for so long. Sarah's determination, coupled with the unity of the townsfolk, allowed justice to triumph, restoring peace to Willow Creek. The mysterious crimes became nothing more than haunting memories, reminding the residents of their strength in unity and the power of unwavering resolve. And so, the sun continued to shine upon Willow Creek, as its residents stood united, ready to face any challenge that may come their way. The Enigma Trail Once upon a time, in the quaint town of Cedarbrook, a series of mysterious crimes began to haunt its unsuspecting residents. Each crime had an enigmatic quality, leaving law enforcement officers and townsfolk perplexed. The townspeople were desperate for answers, yearning for peace to be restored. The first crime occurred on a moonlit night. Mrs. Jenkins, the beloved librarian, woke up to find her precious collection of rare books stolen. 
A lock of shiny silver hair found near the broken window was the only clue left behind. Such was the audacity of the thief that they brazenly left their mark, a signature of sorts. Next, the priceless painting The Midnight Voyage vanished from the Cedarbrook Museum, right under the noses of the security team. The museum guards found nothing but a single black feather at the scene of the crime. Whispers of an infamous thief known as the Feathered Phantom began to circulate among the townsfolk. The Eagle's Eye Casino became the nest of the next inexplicable crime. The renowned Magenta Diamond. The Eye of the Eagle vanished from its secured display case, leaving no trace of its disappearance. Authorities discovered none other than a meticulously crafted origami eagle, skillfully folded from thin cardstock, sitting atop the empty pedestal. News of these puzzling crimes spread quickly, attracting the attention of Detective Evelyn Carter, a brilliant investigator renowned for her knack for unraveling the most perplexing mysteries. She arrived in Cedarbrook with her trusted partner, Officer Liam Anderson. Determined to restore peace to the troubled town, Evelyn and Liam delved deep into the mysteries, analyzing every clue with utmost precision. They realized each crime held a unique connection. All the stolen items were treasures symbolizing freedom and exploration. A breakthrough came when they discovered an old, abandoned cabin on the outskirts of town. The cabin belonged to an eccentric recluse named Mr. Granger, who had mysteriously disappeared years ago. The detectives rummaged through Mr. Granger's belongings, only to find his journal filled with secrets of his past. The journals revealed that Mr. Granger was a former adventurer whose soul yearned for the thrill of discovery. It seemed he had been behind each theft, driven by a deep longing for the freedom he had once experienced in his wanderlust-filled youth. Driven by empathy, Evelyn and Liam sought to understand Mr. Granger's strange actions. They realized that he had grown disillusioned with the mundanity of everyday life and had resorted to reliving his adventurous past through these crimes, his way of reclaiming the spirit of exploration. The detectives confronted Mr. Granger, offering him a chance to find meaning and adventure in the present, rather than dwelling on the past. Touched by their compassionate approach, Mr. Granger gradually accepted the reality of his actions and agreed to return the stolen treasures to their rightful owners. As the sun set on Cedarbrook, the townsfolk gathered to witness the long-awaited return of their cherished belongings. Detective Evelyn Carter delivered her final speech, urging the community to embrace the wonder and excitement of life, assuring them that grand adventures could be found in even the most ordinary of days. From that day forward, Cedarbrook became a town brimming with renewed enthusiasm and a sense of camaraderie. And while the mysteries left their mark, they also served as a reminder that sometimes understanding and empathy can uncover the truth behind the most enigmatic crimes. And so, the tale of the Enigma Trail became a legend, forever etched within the hearts of Cedarbrook's inhabitants, a reminder that kindness and compassion shall triumph over mystery and darkness.